I've seen a lot of confusion on how to properly set up a Netgear Nighthawk S8000 network switch with your Netduma R2 or one of the many Netgear Nighthawk XR routers. Now this will also apply to anybody who wants to learn how to set up the switch properly and who has quality of service on their router already. So if your base router has quality of service, this video is for you. Let's get into it. Once you've run through the initial setup of the S8000, you're greeted with this home screen. And the first thing you need to do is click on system info and make sure you have the latest firmware, which at the time of this recording is 1.7, not 1.0. If you do not have this firmware, go ahead and click the Netgear link here and grab the latest firmware from Netgear's website. Um, I'll walk you through how to install firmware here in a little bit. Below that is your port and power LEDs. This switch gives you the option to turn off the LEDs, which it is absolutely covered in. They do look cool. I have my switch over there with all of my gaming consoles. It's a bit much, it's a bit bright, so I like to turn them off. That's gonna be a personal preference. For the more advanced user, we're going to click off of auto assign your IP address and DHCP, and we're going to assign an IP address. If you already know how to do this, awesome. If you don't, I wouldn't really suggest messing with it. However, it is something good to learn. So if you're unfamiliar with reserving IP addresses, I'll have a video on that soon. So do that for the switch so you can always get in. I like to use a simple IP address like 102 so that I always remember it and I can always come back and change any settings that are necessary, update firmware, so on and so forth. All right, the next thing we're gonna go into is the settings. And we're gonna skip over a few things. We're gonna skip over preset modes, configuration files. We don't need either of those. We're gonna come down to power saving and we're gonna turn off the power saving feature if it is currently on. There's no need to have this, so we're gonna turn it off. Again, you've got another thing for LEDs. I like to have them off. Switch discovery, we're going to leave UPnP on. If you have a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to use Bonjour. And if you, for some reason, cannot find this switch in your network, you've plugged it in, you're like, I can't figure out how to log in at all. There is an application that Netgear has that helps you get to the network switch. This will already be on for you when you set everything up initially. Once you're in and you know you can get in, there's no need to have this option, so I like to turn it off. Firmware, hey, this is where you can grab that firmware and install it. You just put it right here, click update, don't mess with the network, give it a few minutes, and it'll update the firmware and you'll be good to go. Pretty simple. All right, reboot switch, that's just as simple. It lets you reboot the switch as, as control. You don't really need it, so we'll just skip over that. DOS protection. <sighs> we just don't need this feature. It, it kind of drags everything down, especially with uh, time sensitive traffic, so we're just gonna turn that off. Factory default, we've really messed something up and we need to reset everything. Password, self-explanatory, registration, self-explanatory. Set something with your password that you can remember so you can always get in, register the device if you would like to. Diagnostics, it'll allow you to do a cable test. I haven't done this in a really long time. It kind of works. I kind of skip over this one. Now we're gonna move on to the bread and butter, switching. All right, so when you first set up the S8000 network switch, your quality of service mode is port-based. And that's where the, if we come back to home and we look at these preset modes here, that's where these preset modes come in, uh, into play. So we can choose a gaming preset, which would uh, put port one at critical traffic, everything else at low except for your uplink, which would also be at critical traffic. If you do not have a quality of service capable router, this is actually a really good option for gaming and other stream, you know, streaming stuff or just your even your standard preset. If your router's very basic, doesn't have any quality of service, you can definitely use these settings to help get a better experience. But for those of us out there that have quality of service, this is not the right way to set everything up and will actually cause you problems within your whole network. So we're gonna come back to switching. We're gonna click the quality of service tab and we're gonna switch from port based to 8021P DHCSCP. And we're gonna click that. I like to use broadcast filtering. All right, uh, it's something that I've been testing recently. I haven't had any problems with it. I did have it off for a really long time. So it's kind of up to you. If you have any problems, keep it off. I haven't had any recently. If I do, I'll comment 
down below in the comment section and stuff, let you guys know. So far, so good, so I leave that on, but we wanna keep the quality of service mode here, and you can see the change. It changes everything to no limit on in and out, but if we come back here to the uh, you know port-based stuff again, you can see that we refresh, and they'll be high, and you know as you saw earlier, critical, low, those kind of things. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna make sure that that quality of service is on 802, continue, and boom. Give it a second. Broadcast filtering on. VLAN, you'll know if you need it. Multicast, IGPNP snooping. You can have it on or off. I'm kind of testing right now. I've had it off for a real long time and didn't have any issues. I've seen lots of reports of some people have issues, other people don't. I'm just running some tests. I would honestly suggest leaving it off. However, if you want to run some tests, Turn it on. If you see any issues, then turn it off. Block unknown multicast is the exact same thing. I'm just currently in some tests. It's actually been off for a really long time. I'm just seeing how you know everything reacts with it on. We'll see. I'll comment down below and let you guys know. Link aggregation, you'll know if you need it. I don't, most of us don't. So that's it, everybody. That is how you set up your Netgear S8000 network switch with a router that already has quality of service. You're gonna to wanna to turn off that priority based quality of service, turn on that DSCP one, and you're good to go. If you have any comments, questions, any of that kind of stuff, leave them down below. And until the next time, as always, take it easy.